All right, let's look at this example. It's about modulus of 3 minus x less than 2x plus 9. So uh, as you see that this is the absolute inequality where there is an absolute. So we're going to consider about the basic definition, right? The basic definition. The basic definition of absolute values. So now, very simple. If you have modulus x greater or equal a, right? If greater, you have uh, you have x greater or equal a or x less or equal negative a, right? One more, the positive a, and one less than negative a, and or. So if you if you just memorize this first one, and you can easily memorize the second one because if you have less than a everything will be reversed uh, more than you will have less than or you will have n right uh, n and this one will be greater than negative a everything reverse uh, that's the that's the important why you memorize the first one correctly and the second one of course will be uh, correct because you just reverse everything so now you look at this uh, less than 2x plus 9. It's okay. They are without the equal, it's okay. Right? You just ignore the equal. So the formula will be still be the same. So it will be uh, modulus of x less than a. This will be your a, right? This is your x. So it will be 3 minus x less than uh, a. 2x plus 9. N. Uh, we use the n. N and all is very different. Huh? N is referred to intersection, okay? Uh, persilangan. Intersection. So, and the other one will be 3 minus x. 3 minus x uh, more than negative of a, right? Uh, more than negative of a. So, then you, uh, after you must make sure this line is correct. By applying the formula, yeah, cor correct in applying the formula. Then you have negative three x, right? Negative x, negative x, negative three x. Nine minus three, you have six. So if you divide both sides by negative, the sign you must change. Don't forget, all right? You have x divided by negative three because there is a negative, right? So six divided by negative, you have negative two. All right, this will be the solution for the first case. Uh, for this case. So let's look at this case here. So you have uh, 3 minus x more than negative 2x minus 9, right? So negative x plus 2x, you have x. Negative x plus 2x, you have x more than negative 9, uh, negative 9 minus with 3. You have negative 12, right? Uh, so now you have 2 solution but these two solution you're going to see the operation here uh, you you need to combine these two op, uh, solution and to, to conclude the final solution for this absolute inequalities so how you're drawing a number line and you put negative 12 all the numbers negative 12 negative 2 okay one will be greater than negative 2 one will be greater than negative 12. So, then you see the operation here is you intersection, persilangan. So, if union, this will be your result. If intersection, this will be your result. Where the two lines overlay, right? Uh, so, then your result for this case will be x greater than negative 2, right? Uh, x greater than negative 2. So, you can double check your, your solution. You can double check your solution whether it's correct or not. So, because any result, any number that greater than negative 2 will satisfy this inequality. Let's choose a number. For example, uh, I choose uh, 3. All right? 3. 3 is in the range, right? Any number, all right? You like. So, 3. So, uh, 3 minus 3. For the left hand side, for the left hand side, you have 3 minus 3. 2 times 3. 2 times 3 plus 9. Yes, this will be 6 plus 9. You have 15. 15, of course, is greater than 0, right? 
This is a true, uh, a, a, a true statement, right? A true statement. So if you choose a number that not in the range, for example, uh, negative three, right? Negative three. For example, you choose negative three. Eh? So you choose negative three, x to be negative three. You substitute, you have modulus of three, negative three. All right. So you, you put, you just put it negative three plus nine. Then you justify whether this is a, a, a true statement or false statement. Here you have six modulus, you get six. Here you have uh, negative six plus nine. Negative six plus nine, you have three. Then the result said three greater than six. Is it true? False, right? Because x equals to negative three is not in the range, right? Uh, so is not in the range. So that's why this solution were surely correct. All right. Okay. That's all for this video.